you very much indeed, uh, Cynthia. We will turn attention to maritime matters now. And uh, we're joined by uh, the Director General of NEMASA, that's uh, Ziakide Apoblo Kemi. Morning. Thank you for coming on today. Yeah, good morning. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, it's World Maritime Day. And um, what is the significance, by the way? Why did they come up with that? And how is that? How does that affect our own maritime business here? Okay. The World uh, Maritime Day is a creation of uh, the United Nations a specialized organ that uh, regulates maritime, that is the IMO. It focuses on safety, security, and the marine environment. And the maritime business is a global one. It affects everybody, so it affects Nigeria. From the look of things, the way we, uh, ever since you came into the saddle, how would you assess the functions of the Massa and Nigeria? Well, we've taken the Massa to a different level. First of all, the consciousness that there's an organization called, or an institution of government that is called the Massa is well known to Nigerians now. Uh, information about the Massa Hidato was so scanty. Uh, knowledge about its importance was uh, virtually not there. But today, the average man that works in the street understands that there is an agency that regulates shipping, both the local shipping and the international shipping. And that institution is NEMASA. Two, issues that were relegated to the background in the past 30 or 30 something years, I've come up and attention is given to those activities. What kind of issues are there? For instance, you know, when our, the Nigerian National Shipping Line got liquidated 30 something years ago, um, it came with a very severe consequences, particularly the death of seafarers. <coughs> we only have very aging seafarers in their 60s or 60-something 60 or 70. Today we've made a conscious effort in training a lot of Nigerians all over the globe so that in the future we can boost of human capacity in terms of uh, seafaring in the industry. It, we, we, we didn't give that kind of attention in the past uh, 20 or 30 years after the shipping line got liquidated. So today we have made a conscious effort as we speak now, we have thousands of Nigerians sponsored by NEMASA in different parts of the world, in the Philippines, in the U.S., in India, in so many other parts of the world studying. And with the trend, with this trend, I know at least in the worst case scenario, in few years to come, we are going to dictate the, uh, the pace in terms of seafaring in Africa. How do you, how you, how you plan to do that? Is there any such thing as... Maritime Development Institute to enable all of this or facilitate it as it were? No, we, we, part of our, our, our responsibilities is for us to train uh, uh, dock workers, seafarers in the country to build capacity. Capacity building is one of the functions that is given to the master. So we have seized that opportunity in training Nigerians and we do it freely. You know, I, I think uh, when people hear NEMASA and we talk about and good enough will, is the World Maritime Day, Nigeria is also marking that, what significant thing can we say we have been able to achieve to place ourselves on the map when we talk about maritime development? Yes, you know, Nigeria is, uh, we have 853 square kilometers waterways. We have over uh, uh, 200 uh, EEZ and uh, uh, within the context of the maritime uh, natural blessings we have the oil, we have the gas, the aquatic life, etc, etc. So uh, a lot of companies or the world itself is in Nigeria because of the abundant uh, natural opportunities. They are trading with us, and it is our duty to um, provide the enabling environment for the international trade to survive. It is our duty to make sure that piracy is reduced to the minimum uh, uh, 
accept acceptable level. Are you succeeding uh, in that? Yeah, we are succeeding. I'm really, ha I'm really happy you talked about a uh, conducive environment and uh, you had to narrow it down to also piracy, which brings us to safety and security matters. Perhaps maybe you can tell us more of what you, your organization, have been able to do in that regard. Yes, look, in those days, even the awareness that uh, uh, there was a sea robbery was not there. Virtually, any case of hijack is reported now, is known now. So it's, not, it's, not, it's no longer a secret because of the mechanisms that we've put in place. And there are so many instances that we've gone after the, uh, the pirates or the sea robbers. We've got them down in collaboration with the these other security agencies. So you engage the pirates? Yeah. I know I have uh, arrested so many pirates. For instance, the uh, pirates that were arrested uh, by the Navy, the Air Force, and the Massa a few weeks ago. About 16 of them were pirates that we have uh, arrested uh, some months back and handed over uh, to law enforcement agencies for prosecution, etc., etc. They found their way back and went for a further hijack. It was this second hijack that claimed the lives of some of them. And I think some of them are facing uh, 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 prosecution right now. Pirates, Pirates arrested before? Yes. And left off the hook and rearrested again? Yes, how they got out of it is, uh, I, we don't understand. But, again, but we did our job. You know, we, uh, we don't prosecute. I, I understand. I know that. But don't you think, as the Director General, you should also be speaking with such agencies to really find out if they followed the legal processes maybe that led to their release or freedom before they came back to that crime again. That is the synergy we have started developing and cultivating. In fact, if there were not a synergy, uh, the arrest of these uh, pirates few weeks or months ago wouldn't have been possible because the Air Force had to come because they had almost gone out of our uh, uh, marine environment or our territorial waters and uh, the EEZ, almost 300 nautical miles away. So the Air Force came in, the Massa was there, and the Navy did a very beautiful job with the boats, uh, with the um, uh, attack boats, and the rest of them were able to bring uh, some of the pirates and some of them lost their lives. So the synergy have started developing, and that is what the, presidents, the presidency has been campaigning, that security agencies must work together. No security agency can operate in isolation. And I think with the way we are going, the situation is going to be better. Okay. Is there any improvement now? Because I think some time ago, uh, I think it was an interview with you, where it was said that from confessions from some of those pirates, yes. there are about 1,500 of them scattered in the territorial waters in the country. Is no. there any reduction? I, I, is that I, true? I, that, that, that number cannot be authenticated. First of all, that number cannot be authenticated. Is it lower or higher? I, I cannot tell you that this is, uh, these are the exact numbers of people who are engaged in sea robbery or piracy. It will be difficult to give that kind of statistics because I do not have the proof. But what I know is that the trend is coming down because of the aggressive push the government has taken. The government is making frantic efforts. If you can recall, the Navy in the recent past has made tremendous success in arresting so many pirates. The next challenge is that the, in prosecution, we should be meticulous to follow the prosecution to a logical con conclusion so that it will become a deterrent for others that would want to join the industry, or the, that is, the criminal activities. So that is going on. But one thing that I want to assure you is that the piracy situation is getting down and down and down by the day. Is it reflecting, Besides that, uh, is it reflecting on our economy? Well, the, the economist, uh, uh, Ministry of Finance, uh, CBN and the rest, they should give the parameters of judging how economy uh, is good, what are the parameters. It's not for me to come and say it has. Uh, but I know that generally you don't need uh, any person to tell you that a conducive atmosphere is going to boost business activities. You know, but sorry, sorry to cut in there, because I, I'm trying to link it to the economy, if it has any effect, even though we know that uh, all those in charge should be able to tell us uh, what exactly is happening. 
when these people strike the pirates, what, from your own assessment, since uh, being on the saddle, do they go out for? Is it goods coming in, or oil? What exactly do they go out for? Yes. The, before I answer that question, I want to give a perspective on some of the issues that people may not generally know. Not all reported cases of piracy do occur. <clears throat> they, I also believe that there's an international conspiracy also against Nigeria. You know, this war risk premium that is being charged because of uh, 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 they've likened the situation in Nigeria as a war situation. So uh, vessels coming into this country have to be 